So ChatGPT has just released some information about their paid plans and it's a lot different from what most people were speculating in terms of pricing. From what I saw online, most people were speculating that the paid plan would be anywhere between $30 to $40 per month. According to official ChatGPT documentation, ChatGPT Plus, which is a paid plan, will be starting from $20 per month. But do keep in mind that this is a pilot subscription plan, so this um, does have the ability to change as they roll this out. But for $20 per month, you'll be able to get general access to ChatGPT even during peak times. You'll also have faster response time, so that means you will get your output a lot quicker uh, compared to if you were to use the free version. And you'll also get priority access to new features and improvements. So once they roll out new features and improvements, as a paid member, you'll be able to get those access first compared to if you're on the free plan. And when they launch, ChatGPT Plus will first be available to those in the United States and those that have signed up um, for the ChatGPT Plus waitlist. So if you haven't done that already, I'll leave a link in the description of this video where you can sign up for ChatGPT Plus. So when it is available, they'll send you an email and you can get a paid plan if you like. They also mentioned that they plan to expand access and support to additional countries um, over time. So we're not too sure as to how long that's going to be, especially if you're in a third world nation. It might take um, a little bit of time for you to actually be able to get access to ChatGPT. So right now it's only available for the states and I imagine it will be um, available more for the uh, developed nations first and then third world countries after the fact. ChatGPT has also promised to continue offering a free plan uh, for users. So if you are on the free plan, no need to worry. I believe that they will probably always have this free plan available. But if you want the flexibility to be able to upgrade and get a paid plan, then uh, you'll be able to do so very soon. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a pilot subscription plan. So they will be changing it and refining it based upon the data or the customer feedback in which they get back. So that's what they mentioned here at the end. So pretty exciting that you'll be able to get access to ChatGPT Plus very soon. My only question is, and they haven't really clarified that within this document, if there will be a limit on the amount of content that you can generate each day or each month if you're on the Plus plan. Um, they really haven't said how much um, content you'll be able to generate, specifically how many words you'll be able to generate um, within the ChatGPT Plus plan. So that is something that I'll be looking out for. And when I do get information on that, I'll be sure to update you guys. I highly doubt that it'll be unlimited because I know they do have to pay every time someone generates content using ChatGPT. So that seems like it would be unreasonable and unsustainable from their point to have an unlimited plan for every single member. So I do believe that there will be limits on the ChatGPT Plus memberships. And looking forward, I also think that they would have higher plans uh, in case you need higher usage. But again, this is just the early days in terms of them having paid plans. And this is just my assumptions. We'll just have to sit back and see what they decide to do. And some other exciting news, OpenAI has launched their own AI detection tool. So essentially, this is called the AI text classifier, and it allows you to be able to paste your content within this text box, and it'll let you know if your content was written by humans or if it was written by AI. Now, it's not going to really give you a score like you would get on originality.ai, where you'd see the percentage of content that was written by a human and the percentage of content that was written by an AI. This will just give you an estimation as to um, if your content was most likely written by AI or not. So for example, I'm going to copy some content from this website. And I know that they've used AI content or AI generators to um, write this content. And then I'm going to head back over to the open AI text classifier. I'm going to paste that content in here. And just keep in mind that you need to have a minimum of a thousand characters, which is approximately 150 or 250 words. Um, let's see if that's enough. So once you've entered your text, go ahead and click submit. Okay, so I need to add some more words here. Okay, let's go ahead and copy some more content here, paste it in and hit submit. We can see here that the text classifier considers this text to be very unlikely written by an AI, but I know um, that this definitely has been written using an AI copywriter. We use Jasper AI to create this content. Um, but I do know that Jasper AI is one of the better AI copywriters at sort of beating these AI detection tools because you can add your own um, content within it and you can also rewrite the content. So a lot of times um, you're able to get past these AI detection tools. So even with open AI having their own text classifying tool, it is still hard for you to um, be able to detect if content was written using an AI copywriter or not. So to do another test, I've generated a blog post on ChatGPT. I'm not going to make any changes to this blog post. I'm just going to copy it, 
and paste it into the text classifier on OpenAI. So as you can see, the classifier considers this text to be possibly AI generated. So again, you don't really get an absolute answer from when using this tool. You just sort of um, get a gauge as to how much AI content is um, being detected within your text. So it would be nice if they had a percentage or some sort of absolute number that you can take a look at to know that there's X amount of um, AI content within um, the text. But maybe, again, this is just the first iteration of this tool. Maybe as they continue to improve, they will add features like that. But it is nice that OpenAI is getting ahead of um, its competitors and it's actually going ahead and creating its own AI detection tool because Logic tells you if they're the ones that are um, creating the AI content, then they should be the best suited to detect the AI content. And this also helps to reduce misusing of these AI language models, because if anyone wants to double check to see if there was AI content used um, within their text, they can use this free tool to now go ahead and do those checking. So uh, this is a really good move, I think, by OpenAI to have their own unique tool and not have to rely on a third party tool. So that's the video for today. I just wanted to do a couple of quick updates regarding the information released by ChatGPT and OpenAI. Let me know in the comments below what you think about ChatGPT+. Will you be upgrading to the paid plan or will you just be staying on the free plan? And also let me know what you think about their text classifier tool. Do you think that it's useful or do you think the third party apps such as originality.ai are better when compared to the one created by OpenAI? Let me know your thoughts below. And as always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.